hi guys, I'm going to teach you how to draw a toucan and a raccoon, a red panda. You don't have to draw a red panda. There are a lot of things you can turn it into, like wolf and fox. But I'll show you that at the end of the video. Um, first, we're going to draw this toucan. You don't have to write toucan above, and you don't. If you're going to, you don't have to do the exclamation mark. I just and that I just glued that on because it was on the newspaper, and it was kind of surprising and that stuff. But you don't have to like. You don't have to draw that. If you do, you don't have to do my colors. It's your choice. Seriously, the artist decides. Um. So if you're going to follow along on this project, we're going to start with a. Not very much in the middle, a little lower, just a straight line. You can use a um, thing, like a book or something to make it straight. I don't do that. Um, there is a such thing as a racer in this world, so don't get mad at your art. You can, sometimes I do. Um, really? So if you do your line, you need to erase that line, but um, I don't have to, but... You can. Um, and then you do that. Um, not very far apart, but kind of. So, oops, that's very fat. They don't, there's no such thing as perfect. Just try your best. Um, there. Um, so that, it's a little smaller than that. It's fine. Um, that's not the right pencil. Oops. Um, when you're done with the ovals, you need to finish the branch. You can really just do him sitting on the grass, or you can also turn this into something else. But you just need to do a big oval-shaped th thing. You can do the tail however you want. This is just how I would do it. It doesn't have to line up with that. That's fine. There is a big eyeball. He's turning. He's looking that way, and his head is turned that way. You can, But he's looking at you. Um... Seriously, so easy. Um, it's just a big sort wow, that's very big. I did not need to do it that big. Um, and if you want to, he can be looking up. I'm gonna do him looking up to the side ish, but if you that wouldn't look very realistic, so you don't have to do the circle. I do a little. Like that. That's how you do the eyeball. You can choose if you want to do it that way or not. Um, the next step is you kind of just do a curve. You can do his beak some other way. Um, but I like doing it this way. And there. Um, he's looking up. You can do whatever background you want. Seriously, it's your idea. Um, so if you want, you can somehow... Find a way to do wings. I've never done wings on him. That's cute. I like it. Um, the next step is coloring. This guy, I sharpied first. I'm not going to do that right now. It would take a long time. And here, Okay, here's the best part. We get to color it, but it's gonna, probably going to take too long for me for you to watch me color it. I mean, it would probably, you know, take way too long, but here's my magic trick. I'll snap two times and it'll be colored. All done. Okay. I did add a leaf. You cannot really see his um little thing. So um if you want to do like a wing like I did in this one, you can't really see it. Um it just you have to like you could do like a little bit your black a little bit lighter. Um like how I did it around his eyeball. I didn't really have enough ink, but, um. That's you, how it's done. how, do the toucan. I did not do the leaf in this one because he's looking straight. Um, that was my first project. Um, I'm going to draw a red panda next. They are my favorite animals. That is why I'm drawing it. At the end, I will show, of drawing the red panda, I will show you how to draw, turn the red panda into a fox. But you could follow along, make it a cat, make it a wolf, make it any other animal you want. It's just you have to, like, you could do that with a toucan and make it an owl or something. But um, I'm going to show you how to make this red panda into a fox today. Um, so 
you're gonna want your pencil and you're gonna do like two pointed ears. I did this with marker last time. Dumb. It's a little small actually. Okay, explain what you're doing. So you're gonna do like an upside down rainbow shape and stuff. I bet you know how to draw that. Um, but next, it's kind of complicated. I used to draw red pandas very different. But next, you don't have to do the circle. I just like doing it because it makes it look more like 3D. Um, you're going to do that. You can put your nose in the middle. You can make it how big you want it. Um, you just get to choose. You don't have to color it in if you're going to sharpie it and color that but you do not have to do the smile. You can just leave it as like that. You can do his eyes different. I like doing them like that. I think it makes them very cute. And next we're gonna do on the sides like jelly bean shapes that are like been stretched out. Like you do that kind of. You can just do that on both sides and then add a hoop on the top and then just follow down you do not have to do this if you're not gonna do a red panda like i am um you do not have to do them tilted it matters it doesn't matter sorry it does not matter what you want to do you can just push that or you can do it like that like eyebrows right yeah their eyebrows um it kind of makes them look more cute to me um, you can do them like that or the other way I showed you, or you don't have to do red panda like I said. Um, next, we're pretty much doing just two upside down candy canes. And then we do these two small candy canes that are the back feet. You do not have to do it like that. You could do it like this, like he's sitting down on both sides. It makes it look m more like he's sitting down. You do not have to do that. But I like doing it the standing up way. One second, Preston, I'm drawing this one. So. Okay, so you go up here. You can make it longer. I like doing it like this. I think it's really cute and oops. Okay, the next one, you do not have to do this if you're drawing another animal. I like doing that. Sometimes I count them to make sure that the last one is black. You do not have to do that. I like doing it that way. I On this one, I did not do it through his ear. You do not have to do this either. I forgot about this. Triangles in his ears. And next, you do this. Pandas are black on the bottom half. That's true. They don't, you can't, they're not separate with bell, a belly like white and stuff. It's just completely black. So are his paws, both paws. I used to draw his back paws red. If you want to do that, you can, but they're actually black. Now it's time to learn how to turn this red panda into a fox. So you should have another paper. I got this ready before the video. Um, you take either like a pencil or whatever you're drawing with. You can take it from the cheek down into the middle and back over here. That and you could also do this this guy um that and then this too again you could use the you could draw the nose in black or you could save it for now or you could do it right now i need to Okay, 
just gonna color in that. Um, then I didn't do it on him, but you could do a tummy. The eyes, I forgot about the eyes, oh no. I'm gonna do mine actually open right now. And they should be like, I'm gonna color that in. Like maybe looking down or maybe if looks like he's looking at you, I'm not gonna. So these are some of my other ones that I used. Oops, am I? Um, for, the red panda body shape, this is exactly, basically, exactly the same as the red panda. You just switch the colors and the eyeballs are like that instead. Show them both of them. You don't have to do it like this. You don't have to do these. Um, It looks basically exactly the same. This is this guy. He got wet and then it got into his butt. So to be able to see. Um, so add a mane. For a lion. You just need to add a mane and round the ears and maybe add a little droplet at the end um, of that. This is exactly the same thing as the, as the fox. It's just, it looks a little different. You don't do the little hump, M thing, whatever you want to call it. So I want to see your drawings. If you draw anything from my video, or anything like it, I would want to see it. So could you could take a picture and send it to my mom. I also want to know if there's any other animal, something, whatever you want to draw. I just send my mom a message or my dad, and I could send another, uh, post another video of that animal or what plant or whatever you want to learn to draw. Happy drawing. Look what I'm doing.